Hey guys, this is a quick styling video for transitional outfits or pieces from winter to spring. The handbags that you're seeing are handbags from my last two videos from TJ Maxx. By the way, guys, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I love her um, puffer jacket, how it's cinched in the West, right? And then flares out like a peplum top at you know below the west right at the hip section and then of course glasses add that mm, it's like the finishing touch of a good outfit right she looks amazing in this and she's carrying a very small bag by louis vuitton now although it's spring in most states in the united states we still have that bite that chill in the air right unless you're living in florida it's pretty warm but let me tell you even in the southern states it's still kind of cold leaning cold than warm right going to the northern states oh forget about it one day it's warm the other day it's freezing these three bags you see right here they are available on tjmax.com now from my previous video most of them have sold out so whenever i put a video be quick to get to it but anyway what sets this outfit off or apart is definitely her puffer jacket and her glasses right so the first bag i chose from tj max to pair with this outfit other than what she has right so if she didn't have this bag and that big bags are in we could use this caramel type bag you can carry this bag crossbody as you can see right it has a crossbody strap or you can just top handle it so let's see how this outfit would look with this bag let me make it smaller right how it would look do you guys agree that this bag works with this outfit i think it does right and i think it looks really good with this outfit now the other bag i chose is this gucci inspired outfit right leather look at this outfit bamboo um top handle this bag does have as well with tj max it comes with a crossbody strap but look at how well this handbag would go with this outfit it will completely work with this outfit as you guys can see i love this bag so let's try to make it smaller right if she was carrying this bag it would absolutely work with her outfit i love 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 this bag and just in case you guys want to see like the quality of this bag let me minimize this one you guys look at this quality this bag is on tj max i don't know if it's available but it's on tjmax.com the quality is absolutely amazing and lastly the bag that i chose that would go with this outfit is this bag right this could be a shoulder bag or she could carry it as top handle now currently the blue this one specifically has sold out on tjmax.com they have the red one that looks so much like the faragamo red bag that all the influencers are carrying all of these bags the three of them are leather i would choose the blue bag if i were wearing this outfit right this blue bag absolutely works or if you're carrying it as a shoulder bag it would absolutely work with her outfit as you can see it's that pop of color white is a pop of color but definitely this blue is an additional pop of color so let me make it look big so you guys can see the quality and detail of this bag that you get on tj max for a fraction one tenth of the price of the faragamo bag that you get anyway so let's move on to the next bag i think i talked a little more than i wanted on this outfit because i don't want my videos to be too long but definitely i want you guys to see 
um, what you can do with the bags from tjmax.com and the outfit inspirations that we have. So outfit number one. Now let's go to outfit number two. I love this outfit, right? When you look at the buttons on this sweater, this red, vibrant red sweater, those big gold buttons are actually the outfit. They set off this outfit and they make it stand out when you walk in the room, right? It reminds me of Scaparelli. And I know that Revolve has these buttons on some of their pieces. Um, last summer or the summer that we're just coming from, they had like a denim jacket, denim dress that had similar buttons, right? So the entire outfit that the entire piece that makes this outfit is this red sweater. Other than the buttons, this is a beautiful, simple outfit, right? So you guys just admire this outfit. So she has a red sweater with these beautiful gold buttons, a simple black bag that most of us have in our closets, a simple black t-shirt or top, and some dark denim wide leg pants, as you can see here, right? I love this outfit. Now, it's an expensive uh, sweater, right? Especially if it's coming from Scarparelli. But you don't have to buy the scalper really outfits. Sometimes we can do the DUI, do it yourself, right? You can buy a red sweater like that. Most of us can find an orange, red, white sweater like this, especially during this time of the year where we're still feeling kind of cool, especially in the morning and in the evenings, right? Then go to Amazon or Etsy find some huge gold buttons, which they have, or even on Amazon, they have those huge golden safety pins that you can use on your sweater. Just put them through these big loops of the sweater. And there you've added some beautiful accent, gold, silver, or whatever color works with your personality, right? Remember that these outfits are basically inspiration. Anyway, so what I did, I went online, as you can see, this is a separate piece. I found an orange sweater, it could be red, and I found some wide leg dark denim pants that you can find anywhere, right? And I matched them. Now this is the exact bag she's carrying by APC, right? This is the same bag. I found it online, but you don't have to buy this bag, right? Because it's, it's luxury. And there we have almost the same outfit that she has. Obviously has is longer and it's almost like a poncho. Is it a poncho? Um, but it doesn't have arms. But the point of this, once again, style one on one class is about inspiration, having the foundation, right? This is about having the foundation to style your personality and who you are. It's not about copying what you see. Anyway, you can carry any black bag. Then, so this bag is not on tjmax.com, but you have a lot, a gazillion and one black bags like this on TJ Max, right? But this clutch evening daytime white top handle with silver accents let me make it bigger so you guys can see with silver accents right a top silver top handle chain and completely white day and evening kind of clutch you can completely add it to this outfit this is on tj max right from the last time i created my last video you can add this outfit i mean this clutch to this outfit and it will look good right you have the stereotypical red white and blue but because of those golden button right you have that silver in your bag and then the gold in the buttons you will look stylish now i brought this and added it to this outfit to make it look good as you can see it completely makes this outfit into something kind of different 
because the bags are of a different color and different texture and different feel you have a completely different outfit once again guys if you're enjoying this video don't forget to like share subscribe and tell me if you agree with the bags that i have chosen right now let's move on to outfit number three don't forget to leave your comments about outfit number two is this your style would you get inspiration from this i mean tell me let's go to outfit number three now this is for the girl that probably runs a lot of errands she likes to be casual and comfortable maybe lives in the city rides the subway quite a bit does not want to be finicky with heels and things like that but she's still very much a stylish girl as you can see you can see why this is a transitional outfit from winter to spring depending on where you are right so she has sort of a bralette or crop top right denim denim pants but she also has a cardigan or sweater on top right should she feel that bite from the chill air she can completely button up this sweater and still be stylish if it gets a little too warm around 11 12 1 2 p.m she can open it up right and let the air help her breathe this is what i'm talking about but those glasses set her off hair put back accessories just so simple yet not everybody can pull this off even though we have these pieces we are not thinking of these pieces to put this outfit together she is wearing sneakers as you can see here it has red and white her sweater is orange and yellow she's carrying a white black a white bag excuse me blue denim denim ish uh bralette and denim pants she looks cool right looks very good now i chose this is on tj maxx and it's the real chloe by the way so it's over a thousand dollars on tj maxx but i thought this would work well with her outfit right it has different color accents than she does it has white black and beige in it it sets this outfit apart right if i cover the bag that she's carrying right now so let's try to cover the bag that she is carrying right now and act like she is carrying this chloe bag you see how beautiful this bag would go with her outfit it's large enough if she needs a laptop and other things she can carry other things in it and it's a perfect bag for the transition right you're going into spring and you're hinting at summer that starts in june right now we are in spring and as you can see it would totally go the colors just work well with this outfit if you guys don't agree let me know in the comment section also this messina magella um dupe on tjmax.com right it totally works it's off-white it's cream it looks good big bags are in i don't know when they ever left but they are in right now according to the fashion gods whoever they are never met them before but look at this bag see her bag is whitish this is very cream and it works with her outfit it's very similar to the bag that she is carrying right now it sets this outfit apart it complements it in its casualness and fashion fashionableness <laughs> if that's a word anyway so on to the next outfit let me make this bigger if you guys oh what did i just do if you guys want to see how big this bag is if you really really want to see like the quality of this bag then you guys can see the absolutely beautiful quality that you are getting from tjmax.com right look at that this is absolutely beautiful i mean even amazon can't do these dupes right so 
let's just put it back there now let's move on to the next outfit so that was outfit number three okay let's go to outfit number four now there are two outfits here and two different women right i chose them for the classiness and casualness of it there's a mix between the two this lady has a denim skirt that looks very classy and formal but because it's denim there's that casualness to it obviously her shoes are very classy too her jacket is leather as well so this outfit is perfect especially if you are in the northern states you can even carry you can even put like a trench coat on top of this because the trench is very classy keeps you warm but not too heavy right then this outfit as you can see this skirt is more formal it has that suit material to it she's wearing black pantyhose now right here it looks like the back of the sling backs are black but here then they look like they are a white pair of shoes don't know i believe this one is more true let me check this middle one is more true to her outfit remember they the the denim jacket and the skirt may look different because of the lighting angle and camera used by these different cameramen but i believe this is more true to her outfit right this looks black this has some sort of grayness to it right so you can see it's long sleeved i like when she scrunches up the sleeves it gives it another stylish element and angle to the outfit this is probably how i would wear it then letting the sleeves run down i would scrunch them up like this and i love the grayness of this it's like classy here and casual up here mixing your outfits classy and casual just shows that you have a lot of style with you right i love it love it love it as well as i love this now i chose this real this is a real chloe bag that you find on tjmax.com that is also in one of my videos it says chloe here and it has caramel black and silver accents you can definitely put your hand through this it's top handle I believe it also comes with a crossbody strap. I absolutely love this bag. I think because of the neutralness of this color, you can see it can work with this outfit, right? So let's put it right there. It works with this outfit. It just makes that blue in the denim just like stand out and pop off, right? Now, it can also absolutely work with this outfit, as you can see absolutely beautiful if she were carrying this bag top handle right now let's say if this were the true color of this outfit right which i don't think it is this is absolutely beautiful once again guys tell me what you think about outfit number four and the bag that i chose for this outfit number four which is definitely the chloe bag so now let's go to outfit number five I love this outfit it has color it says spring in spring is here and i'm looking forward to summer but there's some chill in the air so i'm gonna put on this little light jacket right let me tell you her hair is part of her style her hair says agey sophisticated i'm here no one is like me i'm one of a kind always make sure you are one of the kind even though you're wearing the same thing that other people are wearing what makes you different from the rest right look at her most of us know who this influencer is right i love these shoes i have similar shoes to this when i bought them about four or five years ago I re and i bought them at tj maxx i remember loving them so much and thinking oh these look like old women's shoes but I remember not caring, right? Don't care. If you love it and it speaks to you and it's calling your name, grab it. I have so many shoes that I used to think are old women's shoes, kitten heels. It's crazy to me that kitten heels are now in style. Remember, 
I'm very much a corporate America kind of girl, but I was like, mm, sometimes I'm going to wear my four inch heels to the office. Other times when I'm sick of it, especially starting from Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday, I start wearing kitten heels and I'm like, am I old? I didn't care. I wore it young and I still wore the shoes and that style. You're not following the trends. You are setting the trends. Okay. And remember this picture is years ago, about four to five years ago. She looks amazing. Ripped denim jeans. You can see her top is black with like flowers, like sunflowers. I don't know. Her bag is sort of leopard in purple. Um, her glasses are mirror like hair. Amazing. Okay. I will always love this hair. It is so different. It's not like the usual. It's not like everybody who's out there straightening their hair, right? It is absolutely different. And then once again, I have chosen that Chloe bag that we just saw in the previous outfit inspiration, right? And I love her pink jacket, right? Because it might even be a rain jacket. And if you look closely, nothing matches. Let me tell you those people who wear like my bag has to match my shoes or my belt has to match my bag or my top has that is so amateur. That is a lack of style. That is a follower, right? I'm not saying your clothes can't match, but don't strive to match your outfit. Strive to make it work. And if working means your bag matches your shoes, then great, but don't look to match your shoes with your back. Just make it work. She is not wearing the same color twice, but somehow it looks amazing. She has a pink jacket, her clutch or her bag right here. As you can see here, here and here is purple and black. Her top has black, white, and yellow in it. Her glasses has that silver bluish mirror to it. Her pants are denim, blue, stonewash, rips. Her shoes are red and gold accents to it. No matching. This is style, people. If you're one of those people who say my belt must match, you are amateur. I said it. And it looks ridiculous because it's so obvious when you're trying to match something. And those people, if she were wearing a red belt because of her style, we would immediately tell that it's not that she was trying to match her shoes. It's what worked with the outfit. So always strive to make your pieces work and not match. And if they happen to match, great. So once again, I use this, uh, Chloe bag, which again, doesn't match any of her pieces, but I believe it would work with an outfit like this. It would absolutely work if this was the bag she was carrying with this outfit. As you can see, it would absolutely be great. It's not fighting with the pieces. It's working with the pieces, as you can see, I absolutely love this. Okay. If this was her bag on this outfit, I think it works well. Once again, tell me guys, if you agree, I only chose one bag for her. Tell me if you agree with this outfit. Now that was outfit number five guys. Don't forget to leave your comments like this video. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, but importantly, so you don't miss this styling fashionable videos like this. Okay. Now let's go to outfit number. Let's go to outfit number six. So we have the same girl, but this time we have two girls wearing exactly the same skirt, yellow leather. These are both influences, right? But let me tell you, I love the way each of these women wore this yellow leather skirt. And what I like about this skirt, it's not too short. It's not too long. It's the perfect length for anybody. 
and no matter what your height is, right? But my, if I were to choose my favorite of the two, it's definitely this one, right? She's wearing those black flat shoes, as you can see, looks amazing. Yellow skirt, some kind of, I don't know whether this is Chloe. I believe this is Chloe or Celine bag. And remember these outfits are more than five years old, still relevant today and will be relevant in the next 10 years. This is the problem. I mean, this is the perfect thing you should learn from styling, right? If you want to use your pieces over and over again, it's good to know what's trending, but set your own trends. Don't follow the trends. Now you must know what the trends are because the trends may have things that speak to your personality that you want to incorporate in your closet and in your style, but don't style them like everybody is. Now, if everybody is styling them the way you would, then great, right? This yellow piece is classic, timeless, will stand the test of time for the next 50 years. And even how these two women have styled this skirt can be worn in the next 10 years from today. And this was worn about five years ago. This was not last year and this is not 2024. It's not 2023. Okay. But look at how beautiful and relevant it is today. Right? So anyway, she's wearing in this picture. No, actually in this picture right here, it looks like the top is animal print black and white, but you can see in this picture, it's blue and white. I would like for it to have been blue and white in most pictures that I saw. It looks like it was blue and white. And I think blue and white makes the yellow in the skirt pop. But regardless, if it was animal print, blue and white top or black and white, it still works. It has that peplum top to it. The neutral colors in this Chloe or Celine bag that is years old, looks amazing. And then she wears these black flat shoes. If she is, which I believe she's wearing this blue and white, once again, she's not matching anything. Skirt yellow, black has, uh, the bag has that leopard, uh, not leopard, snake skin print to it, different browns, the bag, the top blue and white, the yellow, and the shoes were black, right? Nothing is matching, but yet it works well together. And I love, love, love her glasses, right? So, same with this lady, right? White, sort of t-shirt white, long-sleeved, pink writing on her top, which goes with the pink in her glasses. Beautiful hair. I always love hair like this. It sets her apart. Like, let me tell you, if you can do your hair like this, regardless of your hair texture, you're the girl. As you can see, her shoes are different. It has some sort of heel to it. Blue, metallic silver with blue, pink phone. Looks amazing. Now, I've zoomed in for you to see. These women seem to have the same height and the skirt so you can see the texture where it hits both women on the thighs close up how they look how they are dressed they've both tucked in their tops right and they look amazing now if you think you have like a belly you don't have to tuck in your shirt but i think tucking in your shirt you can add a belt to it right here with some golden or silver accent or some kind of accent here it will cinch in your waist it will bring definition to your waist right no matter how big you think your waist is just try it anyway now for these two outfits i also think this bag will work with both outfits as you can see now as you can see I have featured this bag in at least three outfits and we are only on outfit number six. Think about that when you are buying pieces. So if you had a bag similar to this, it doesn't have to be Chloe. It's about the color of the bag and mostly the quality. You see how many outfits you could use that bag with. You can use it over and over and over again. So it will work with her outfit right 
And again, it doesn't match anything that she has on, but it works, right? It makes that yellow in the skirt pop off. Same with her. It would work with her outfit too. Just make it pop off. Once again, guys, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you don't agree with the bag that I cho chose for this outfit, just let me know. But this is the bag from the bags that I showed on TJ Maxx that I think would work well with this bag. So that is outfit number six. Let's go to outfit number seven. I love this outfit, guys. Look at this jacket. By the way, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you want more videos and style inspiration like this. Guys, the glasses, the hair tucked into her shirt and her jacket. You see how this is a trans transitional outfit, right? She has the boots. She has these it's not a skirt. It's like pants. I don't know whether they're called collards or I don't know what they're called. I don't remember, but I have about three of pants. I have three pants like this inspiration in different colors. I have it in black, I have it in white and I have it in red, right? The usual colors. Beautiful. But to me, have you seen this studded leather vest jacket? This jacket is is the outfit you put this jacket on anything it will set your outfit off and apart from the rest i am so sure that when this girl walked in the room fashion week street style she was the girl and the only girl and this girl can dress okay this girl knows how to dress she's one of those eat influences and again this is so classic it may have been trendy at the time this is not this year again it's not 2024 outfit but you can wear this 10 years from today and still look just as cool as she looked when she wore this outfit she looks amazing right now i don't know if these were wedge boots or not leather Look at these pants. Look at this jacket. And guys, the detail on the back of this jacket. Oh my God. I couldn't find a clear enough image to show you guys, but it's beautiful. By the way, this is the writing on the skirt. It's not stained or anything. It simply came like that, right? I mean, just let's take a moment to take it in. And it doesn't even have to be leather. Now, pieces like this, if you were to buy them brand new, they're really expensive because this is an expensive piece. Go to the thrift store. You will find biker jackets or biker vests just like this, guys. You will find them even in camouflage. They're absolutely there. Beautiful. So I chose this blue bag with her outfit. Why? It's just that cup of color she's wearing those neutral white black silver gold in her right but that little bit pop of color sets this thing off this again blue is sold out these red it's an inspiration from that ferragamo outfit i mean bag that everybody has been carrying this is an absolutely beautiful bag as you can see it pops the white, like just makes the wife, the white in her pants scream out the black in her jacket, the metals in her jacket. I think I wouldn't think of any other bag that would work from the bags that I showed from TJ Maxx. It makes this outfit look amazing. Once again, guys, let me know if you agree. Let's go to outfit number eight. This outfit is gorgeous it's very springy you can see from the colors you can also wear it in the fall which is from fall we go into winter though the coldness in the spring and fall are quite different but this outfit can be worn either time it can also be worn in the winter this is a heavy outfit right it has that blanket feel to it okay 
but she's wearing a bralette or a crop top with it. She looks amazing. The earrings to me, they're reminding me of those Scaparelli earrings, right? It's very scaparelli -ish. I don't know. I like everything about her. I like her profile. I like the simplicity of her makeup. I love that her side view is to die for. Her profile is to die for. The hair is gorgeous, right? You pull your hair back. She has her hair braided. That profile of her face is one of a kind. And then as you can see the blush, right? Look at her. Look at this profile. She is one gorgeous woman, right? Just look at the light hitting her face with a little bit of blush. Okay. But this is about outfit, not beauty. We're going to get to beauty of videos in the future because I'll bring some for you. But we have the green, we have the white, we have the pink. We have, this is actually a handbag in the blue. We have some like pink or orange in her heels. She looks springy. Those, you want to wear this outfit, those cold spring days, right? Especially if you're going to be walking around or find yourself outside quite a bit. This is a good one for you. You are in New York, Colorado, Alaska, um, Massachusetts, just those cold states. It's still, let me tell you, traveled to the Southern states recently. It was so cold. Georgia was cold. And I was like, I thought it's spring. And I thought since we've come down south that it's going to be warm. Mm -mm. Georgia was cold last week. I was surprised. But anyway, so you could wear outfits like this. Once again, I chose that neutral Chloe beautiful handbag. Why? Because this, there's just a lot going on in terms of color with this outfit. And only a few people can pull out this outfit. Even I'm intimidated by this outfit, to be quite honest. But this color, again, is not fighting with the outfit, right? It's working with the outfit. You see, if she wasn't carrying this blue bag over here, she could easily wear this neutral color a Chloe bag, any color, any, I mean, any bag of this color would absolutely work. That's outfit number eight. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let's move on to outfit number nine. All right. Our girl, everybody's girl, Rihanna, everybody's style icon, Rihanna. If she's not your style icon. <coughs> okay. Riri number nine. Who would have thought this girl would be a mother of two, maybe three soon, but the girl looks amazing. I remember one time my mom used to tell me that the day Rihanna settles down and has children, she's going to have them back to back to back. I'm like, what? What makes you think that she's like girls who are like her, they play around quite a bit. But when they have children, they have them back to back to back. You know what? Put some respect on your mother's name. They know more than we do. I never thought that would be Rihanna. And my mom is telling me, Rihanna is not done. Rihanna will have them until she can't have them. Or until something medically stops her from having them. She's rich. More than she knows what to do with the money. She will keep having these kids. If Rihanna can give birth to nine kids, she will give birth to nine kids. Okay. Anyway, she's still a style icon. This was Rihanna before she had children. Once again, a very springy outfit. The jacket is not too heavy. She's wearing a white crop top, wearing baggy pants, striped, and sneakers that are black and white with a black cross body bag. We know all of these are luxury items with Rihanna, right? But in depending on the lighting, these pants look like blue and white stripes. On these other two images, they look like black and white stripes. That's not the point. The point is it works regardless whether the pants were blue, gray, or black, right? It works. It's a very casual, stylish outfit. You will never go wrong with 
hoops her hair looks like i just woke up like this her glasses oh, to die for and these glasses look good on most faces guys okay so it's rihanna she rarely goes wrong with outfits so the three bags that i chose from tj maxx once again i don't want to talk too much about this because i feel like this bag is gonna work with every outfit to be quite honest it doesn't even matter right so let's put the chloe bag back then we have this uncline bag which is very much a dupe of chanel but it's all leather uncline's dupes are duping you guys are going to amazon amazon is charging you for eh, dupes tj maxx dupes are the thing that will last you for years amazon psh, I mean, they're good dupes on Amazon. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like 1% of the dupes on Amazon are good. The rest is just trash. This green bag would absolutely look good with Rihanna's outfit. As you can see, it pops off. Of course, she's wearing black. So I, I mean, she's wearing, a, she's carrying a black bag. I intentionally did not pick a black bag for this outfit, you know? It's intentional otherwise i probably would have but you see how it works with this outfit absolutely looks amazing right so look at this she's carrying this bag on her shoulders this can work with this uncline bag right and if you don't want to wear a crop top like rihanna you can wear a white long sleeved top depending on how cold where you are um this kind of blue bag would work it has that very neutral color it's not as poppy as the green uncline bag leather as well 100 percent leather okay you see how it would work with this outfit it just looks great with this outfit once again guys if you agree with the bags that i chose let me know if you don't agree let me know tell me what bag you would choose it doesn't even have to be from the videos that i created just name a bag that you would think and color that would work well with rihanna's outfit other than the bag she's carrying so let's go to outfit number 10 i love this outfit guys okay we know cowboy whatever is in beyonce is the reason everybody's wearing cowboy things this outfit is years ago has nothing to do with beyonce but you can completely wear a cowboy hat or you can wear this hat to show that it is springy black and white hat black hat a uh, blue hat red hat yellow hat whatever you want to wear okay the outfit to me is both in the hat and the skirt with these white pleats she's wearing a very simple white shirt jewelry long earrings it's in the glasses as well her hair too but when you don't see the hair she looks absolutely amazing black handbag chanel right it's a simple black and white outfit it's the way she wears it it's the way look at her walking here it's the confidence she feels good because she looks good and we can't help but look at her that's what a good outfit does to your confidence there's nothing much she did the outfit the skirt itself it stands out and then she just put on a simple white shirt and somehow it looks like she did some magic to her outfit not really she has great pieces right now i chose this other lady here she has a very similar outfit just different colors same skirt just has his blue and yellow and she's wearing a blue shirt and has is more casual because she's wearing sandals right open toed sandals very casual from her bag she's wearing heels and the chanel bag but you can see both outfits look good now the bags that i chose black balenciaga hourglass right she's carrying a black bag so if i were to put this black this is the real Balenciaga bag, by the way. By the way, guys, you see how it looks like she's carrying it? It looks good. She has a black bag. It works. It also works with this outfit here, right? The one which has yellow and blue. 
looks just as good crossbody balenciaga bag it looks good so now let me make it bigger for you guys to see the quality this is the real deal it's not fake it's not inspiration it's not a dupe it's the real balenciaga on tjmax.com i hopefully you guys can find this and it's not sold out anyway that's how beautiful this bag would look she's also wearing a black chanel bags this is also the real deal balenciaga mini cassette bag it's very tiny now if you put this on top of her chanel bag you can see how it looks like she's carrying that green bag you can see how this green just makes this outfit come alive right so i've added it to look like she's carrying this bag it looks amazing with her outfit this is the real bottega bag on tjmax.com as you can see this works with her outfit right it also works with this blue and yellow outfit once again we're making it look like she's carrying it cross body it's absolutely looking beautiful now let me make it bigger so you guys can see the quality of this bag don't forget this is the real bottega bag on tjmax.com guys if you are enjoying this video don't forget to like share and subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos and tell me your top three outfits that you like from this video and why let's go to outfit number 11 i have a lot of outfits i think next time i'm only going to do three outfits i love outfit number 11 it's a simple sweater a sweater vest with different colors design and pattern this is a gucci sweater so let me make it look bigger so you guys can see that this is a gucci sweater right absolutely beautiful and definitely pricey okay she's wearing black tights or pantyhose she's carrying the gucci horse bit bag or the re-edition of the bag right uh she's she must have been going to like a gucci runway show it's fashion week right that's it with do we have the shoes yes with black sandals as you can see she wore the tights let me make this smaller so we can actually see the entire outfit here right she's wearing it with black sandals and somehow it looks amazing simple hair very simple right now if you don't want to bare your chest like she has you can wear something you can wear a bralette you can wear a black top you can wear a, a white top you can wear any top that complements the colors in the sweater right or whatever the colors are in your sweater or sweater vest you can even wear a long sleeved sweater because it's spring it's still kind of cool you can wear a long sleeved sweater and you can wear like black tights instead of pantyhose to keep you warm you can even wear nude if you wanted remember nude is the color of your skin or something that is as close to your color as possible nude to her is her skin color nude to someone else is the color of chocolate N you know nude is your skin color some people nude is this brown right it just depends what your skin color is don't be fooled that nude means beige no nude to you is your skin color anyway i love these bags right these gucci bags i love them so since we're heading into summer we are in spring i did choose the balenciaga bag that i just showed uh, in the previous um outfit it would work because you know it just works it's black it goes with most things right so i think like if she were carrying this black bag it would work it looks good right guys it looks good with her outfit i like it i think it looks really good with her outfit and i think it would work with her outfit all right so there we have it then if you were 
like in warmer states, right? You could use this basket bag. This is a true basket bag from tjmax.com. So if you don't like basket bags, don't touch this bag. Okay. It's kind of got that grass in it or bamboo in it. That would work as well. Right. Um, you know, you could wear flat shoes and just go around town. If you feel like you are in the subway, I feel like this would work. Let me make it bigger so you guys can see what this bag truly looks like. It's a true basket bag. You have to take care of it. If you're not into basket bags, don't touch it. Find something similar. If you like the color combination, find something similar, but don't touch this bag. Now, this is a clutch. It's kind it's lilac. And it looks different on different angles. So one, this is actually the same bag, right? I think this would work. It would complement her outfit. It doesn't match anything, but it definitely complements the outfit, as you can see. Again, guys, tell me if you do agree with the bags that I'm choosing. I think this would work so well because it complements her outfit very well. Tell me, what do you think? I think it's amazing. I think it works. If you see it here, it works. If you see it here, let's put it right here because this bag looks big. So let's make this bag as big as her bag. Let's make it a little bit smaller like that. I think it works, right? So guys, tell me what you think of these bags that I've chosen. That is outfit number 11. Let's go to outfit number 12. Again, those sweaters with colors that most of us have in our closets. If you don't, thrift store, Goodwill has a million and one sweaters like that with the greatest quality that you can find at Zara. Okay. Especially now when people are spring cleaning their closets, they're getting rid of some of their sweaters or winter stuff. This is the time to get great winter things in your thrift store. Very simple outfit, baggy jeans, nice sweater. She's carrying the same horse bit, whatever you call this bag by Gucci, uh, has is completely black and red pointed heels. Now, if you were to ask me, I wouldn't wear these heels, the red pointed heel for the very same reason that I was saying earlier to me, it looked like she was trying to match her shoes to any of the colors in her top. And she went for the red. It's very obvious to me. And this is what took it to a four on a scale of one to 10. I love the outfit so much, but that matchy matchy killed it for me. But I chose to ignore the shoe because I wanted to talk about the sweater. I like everything else, but the shoe. I wish she just chose a completely different color. I hate the color of the shoe. I love the shoe that is pointed. I hate the color because there's red in here. I love red, but it's just so obvious. Anyway, let's get back to the outfit. So this is nice. Let's forget the shoes, right? So let's go with this. This is a Moschino bag that you will find on TJ Maxx as well. Pure leather, right? It would work. Once again, it's not do, too different from the Chloe bag. I think it would absolutely work with this outfit. Change your shoes, work with this outfit, right? Looks absolutely amazing. Even a white pair of pointed shoes would have worked because her sweater doesn't look white to me. It looks off white cream or some cream gray in it. That would work. I absolutely, absolutely love this bag with her outfit goes with it. And look, it makes even the blue in the jean just come alive. So I really, really like this Moschino color. Now, what I don't like about this bag is it has too much. The Moschino is too big for my writing. Now I do understand that some people like things like this, right? They like logos, they like names. They want everybody to see I'm carrying some luxury name brand. I want everybody to see this is Chanel. I want everybody to see this is Gucci. So if you are that person, well, this is your bag. 
discounted on tjmax.com. Now we have another Magella, uh, bag, uh, Mason Magella bag, the M6 bag, um, dupe on tjmax.com. There are different types of dupes. This is another one. This white bag would look good with her outfit, I think, because the sweater, like I said, is off white and it works well with the jeans as well. Just let me know what you think. If she was carrying it like top handle wise, this is a big bag, by the way, guys, I know I've made it small, but if she were to carry this bag, it would probably look something like this. It is a big hobo style bag. Anyway, guys, let's look at the quality of this bag, right? It's different from the other one we saw. They have different types of Messel Magella dupes. This looks amazing. I like it too. And I like the color. Hopefully there's no color transfer from the jean to this bag, but let's move on. Let's go to outfit number 13. I love this outfit for its simplicity, right? Very peplum ish top. The arms of the top are wide. It's a simple cotton shirt, transitional piece, right? She's wearing that denim jacket around her waist. So if it, if you go in the morning, you wear that jacket, right? And if it starts getting warm around 12, one, two, three, you take it off and you wear it around your waist. It looks amazing to me. I don't think she's wearing that jacket because she took it off. I think wearing it that way was part of the outfit, right? But what I'm saying is you can wear it in the morning and take it off when you feel warm or hot. But I think she just wore it like that and she never changed it. It made, I don't know if she knew that, but it, because it's under the peplum top and over her pants with different colors, it made that peplum white cotton shirt even more balloony, even more peplum. It added more volume to the bottom of that shirt, which made it look so good. And because it's a different color, it made it look so nice. It's a very casual outfit, yet very beautiful. And I love how there's no jewelry. She doesn't have earrings, no necklace, just the, the sunglasses and the simple hair put back, right? Sometimes too much is too much. Having too much jewelry, neck, earrings everywhere, it's, it can take away. But you can see there are times when that is called for and it looks beautiful. It looks like you're adding on, but sometimes adding too much stuff to the to your outfit can be too much, right? And taking off things can actually bring life to your outfit. So she looks amazing. I like, again, nothing is matching on this outfit. White top, blue denim jacket, a uh, kind of caramel brown greenish uh, corduroy or suede pants, black fringe bag. As you can see right here, her bag is fringe. It looks beautiful and stylish yet so simple. We all have similar pieces in our outfit, but most of us will never think of putting them together like this or even tying your denim jacket to bring volume to your top. Anyway, so I use this bag again. Since it's spring, heading into summer, this would work with her out outfit. But like I said, guys, this is a true basket bag. If you're not into basket bags, do not get this bag. Okay. And you, you have to know how to take care of your basket bags. Otherwise they start falling apart on you. They start breaking, especially if they're not well treated. Okay. So I chose that bag. I also chose this Messin Magella bag just in a different color than the one we had before. Right. It's also a different color, but I think it completely complements this outfit. It is a hobo large bag, right? They say bags are in. This is probably how it would work on her outfit. And this is how big it is. So that's one of the bags I chose, right? And then the other bag that I chose, no, I only chose 
did I really just choose two bags for this? I guess I did. Anyway, let's go to the very last outfit. I'm so happy because this video is just too long. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell me which three outfits are your favorite from these 14 outfits that we have that were too many. The very last outfit is the girl we saw with the leather studded vest. All right. One of my favorite outfits in this video. This time, once again, she likes going for very simple, straightforward outfits, but it's how she puts them together that sets them apart or makes them very stylish. This is just a white turtleneck that most of us have, but it's not heavy. So it's perfect for spring. And then she has a ripped denim jean, nothing much to it with silver accent chains right here and white shoes. Now I was saying before that I don't like machi machi, but this is not machi machi, right? This just worked. Okay. So once again, it looks like she likes to tuck her hair within her top and maybe she found out that that works for her and obviously it does. So when it comes to the bags, I chose this Bottega mini Jordi inspired bag in yellow just to add that pop of color as you can see it absolutely works with her outfit I also chose the same Messon Magella bag beige caramel whatever you want to call it which absolutely works with her outfit as well now this one, I'm afraid guys, is completely sold out. This is 100% leather by Zach Posen. I have this bag in lilac. It's absolutely beautiful, but this bag is completely sold out. I showed you guys two videos ago. Those who listened, they watched the video and they sold out the bag. It's gone, gone. If it comes back, I'll let you know, but this is, um, inspired from the Fendi peekaboo bag. That's the other bag that I chose for this outfit. By the way, guys, if you liked any one thing in this video, let me know from outfit one to outfit number 14, which of the three were your favorites and why, and which do you agree or disagree when it comes to the bags that I chose for each of the outfit. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, until our next style one-on-one -on -one video. Bye.